sidewalks there in Boston as there it is. That's the beautiful shot. There's that Super Bowl trophy now being held by, uh, who is that? I can't tell. Young Mr. Kraft, I believe, huh? I'm not sure. But anyway. Well, yeah. keep in mind, Tom, that, that they have four of those uh, Vince Lombardi well, trophies, and we will too. probably see all four of those yeah, I never, every, along the parade route. So never we, never know, that. Yeah. we never know exactly which one. Like the Red Sox, they typically bring all their trophies onto the duck boat. Aaron was talking about how there's no rally, and I've, I've I've been at, I was at all uh, previous eight of the championship parades, and they've gotten shorter and shorter each time with less and less of a rally. And I don't think weather had anything to do with it because when the Patriots won that first one in 01, that was one of the coldest days I've ever been outside for. Remember <laughs> Ty Law doing a dance and getting Bob Kraft to dance? It was, yes. a, it was a famous rally. That day was absolutely freezing. That might be Jonathan Kraft. It's yeah. kind of hard yeah. to tell in the, yep. in the White Hat. But Jonathan Kraft, his son, is going to be a quarterback at Dartmouth College starting next year, an incoming freshman, no kidding. Uh, Robert Kraft's grandson. So that's kind of neat. Yeah. But, you know, I've, ju I've just noticed that these rallies are getting shorter and shorter because we're just getting used to it, I guess. Well, that could be true. There's no doubt about that. But they're still very exciting. And it is an opportunity for these uh, players, I think, like to do it because they, too, want to show their appreciation to the fans who stick by them all year long. The, by the way, the, some of the video that you see on the right of your screen might be shaky at times because we do have live cameras actually on the duck boats. And 